Outcome 18 and 19, Solving Systems of Equations and Their Applications. Now in Part B, we will be solving systems of equations using substitution. You can find more information in Chapter 6, Section 2. The objective is to solve systems of equations using substitution. The main idea, systems of equations can be solved in more than one way. When a system has at least one equation that can be solved quickly for a variable, the system can be solved efficiently using substitution. Let's take a look at the first example. We have two equations, y equals 2x plus 7 and y equals x minus 1. We'll label this as 1 and this as 2. So our first and second equation. Step 1, because y equals 2x plus 7, you can substitute 2x plus 7 for y in the equation y equals x minus 1. Let's take a look at what that looks like. So again, in that first equation, you have 2x plus 7. y is the same as 2x plus 7. So if y is the same as 2x plus 7, then we can come into the second equation and replace this y with a 2x plus 7. Starting by writing that second equation here, y equals x minus 1. And now we're substituting 2x plus 7 for the y. So this y becomes 2x plus 7. This replaced the y. We continue writing the rest of the equation equals x minus 1. That is the most difficult part of this problem, learning how to substitute. The rest is solving equations. So now let's recall that to solve this equation, we need to combine our like terms. There are a couple methods I've taught in the past for you to refer to. I would just use what I like to refer to as the drag and drop method. So I will combine the x's over on the left side because the coefficient 2 is greater than the coefficient 1. So I will take this x to the left side and therefore I will take this plus 7 to the right side. So I'm really doing two steps at one. I'm getting rid of the x here by subtracting the x. So now I'll go ahead and rewrite this left side as 2x and this x becomes a minus x on the left side of the equal sign. We kept the minus 1 on this right side. This plus 7 comes over as a minus 7. And that's because we're really subtracting the 7. Now let's go ahead and combine our like terms. 2x minus x is 1x or just x. Negative 1 minus 7 is negative 8. So we have the x value, which is negative 8. We will now substitute negative 8 for x in either equation and solve for y. So I will write the first equation, y equals 2x plus 7. And I will now substitute our value of x into this equation y equals 2, we plug in the negative 8, plus 7. Let's begin to simplify. 2 times negative 8 is negative 16, plus 7. And therefore, y is equal to negative 9. And we did substitute a negative 8 for the x. Now, the last step is to identify the solution. The solution is the ordered pair, negative 8 for x, comma, negative 9 for y. You can check by substituting. We can substitute negative 8, negative 9 into each equation. If you plug in negative 8 into the original x and negative 9 into this y, the equation will come out to be true. If you plug in negative 8 into this equation and Plug in the negative 9 here, you'll simplify and find that the left side does equal the right side. Now problem 2. In this problem, here's what you want to think first. I need to solve one of the equations for one of the variables. Solving the second equation for x is the quickest. Why? When you look at all four variables, the first y, the first x, the second x, and the second y, which of these would be the easiest to solve? x because the coefficient is a 1. So it looks like there's no number in front of it, right? It's that invisible one. Whereas these others have a coefficient of a 6, coefficient of 5, coefficient of 3. 
we can solve for those variables, but there will be an extra step. So the easiest variable to solve for, <clears throat> so the easiest variable to solve for is x in the second equation. Let's start by writing that second equation. x plus 3y equals negative 2. So again, we're really subtracting a plus 3y from both sides, but I will show you as if we're just moving it to the right side. That leaves us with x equals negative 2. This plus 3y turns into a minus 3y. We've now solved for x. We need to take this and substitute into the other equation. So I'll start by rewriting that first equation. 6y plus 5, and I will highlight this x in purple, equals we are replacing this x with this, which is the value of x in this case, what we solve for. So now, let's go ahead and start rewriting our equation. 6y plus 5, we plug in negative 2 minus 3y to replace the x, and that is equal to 8. Once you have substituted, it's just a matter of solving this equation for y to figure out the num numerical value. So let's begin solving. We will start by distributing. So we're bringing down the 6y. This becomes minus 10 minus 15y equals 8. I will keep the y terms on this left side of the equal sign, but I will move the negative 10 over to the right side, leaving us with 6y minus 15y 6y minus 15y equals 8, and the minus 10 becomes a plus 10. Now combine your like terms. 6y minus 15y, negative 9y equals 18. Now we can divide both sides by 2. Now we can divide both sides by the coefficient of y, negative 9. The 9's cancel out on this side, leaving us with y equals negative 2. Now to get our second part of the solution, the x value, we need to substitute the y value into either original equation and solve for x. I will substitute into this second equation because, again, not having this coefficient makes it a little bit simpler. So I will rewrite that second equation, x plus 3y equals negative 2, and where the y is, we'll substitute this with a negative 2. x plus 3, negative 2, times negative 2, equals negative 2. Therefore, x plus, this becomes a negative 6, or a minus 6, equals negative 2. And we can now take this minus 6, bring it over to the other side, or show that we're adding 6 to both sides. So this becomes x equals negative 2 plus 6. And finally, x is equal to positive 4. So the last step is to write the solution. The solution, remember, is your x, y, so the final solution, our xy pair is 4, negative 2.